Faiza and Anissa Omar are passionate about food, fashion, beauty and travel, but their real genius lies in spotting opportunities. They've discovered ways of turning their divergent interests into business ventures, while still staying in touch with the soul. And here's how they do it. Simply say Paris and you conjure up visions of evocative landmarks, exquisite style and delicious cuisine, including some of the most seductive sweets on the planet. Faiza and Anissa share love of the French interpretation of the finer things in life and their empowering local Francophiles to create their own pastries and confectionery with some help from their online equipment store and baking classes. Zaki went to see these creative sisters in action. I fancy myself quite a fabulous baker, but I often feel limited by the resources I have available. Well, not anymore, thanks to a pair of stylish bakers who are bringing Paris to South Africa. And what a pair of fabulous bakers you are. Hello, ladies. Hi. What is the Stylish Baker? It's an online store. We supply specialized pastry ingredients and also all the tools and molds that you need to create fabulous desserts. What inspired the concept? Basically in South Africa, because we're so limited with what's available, you can't create all these magnificent masterpieces. So we've started sourcing exactly what we need to create these amazing pastries. Why the name The Stylish Baker? We just want to show you that you can bake everything in style and you can look fabulous when you're done. What are we making today? All our pastries have French ladies' names because they're so fabulous and sophisticated. So today we're making Emily. And Emily has four elements. We have the pistachio jucant, which is a sponge, then a passion fruit and mango insert, a raspberry mousse, and then the mirror glaze, which finishes it off. Where do we start? We start off with the mirror glaze, and one of the elements for the mirror glaze is this sugar syrup, which I'm preparing right now. The first ingredient we need to prepare is our fish gelatin. Fish? Why fish? It's halal and it's kosher. It's completely odorless. Doesn't smell at all. It does not have a smell. Also, the texture with the fish gelatin, it's more mousse-like and not really um, jelly-like. So the first ingredient is the fish gelatin mass, followed by condensed milk mm. and white chocolate. Paisa, is your syrup ready? Yes. So I'm just going to pour it into this mixture right here. At this point, we can color it any color we want but today we're going to make it pink. So I'm going to first add some white. This forms the base of the color. And I'm going to add red, which with white makes pink. Please can you yeah. pass me the stick blender? Then? Of course. So we're going to blend it now. Would you say that baking is more of a science or an art? Actually, it's a combination of both. Because science with temperature, quantities, all of that. And then art when it comes to the actual decoration. A very important step with the glaze is that this would need to rest in the fridge overnight. Okay. The gelatine needs to set and then remelt. Okay, so I'm going to pop this in the fridge and we have one that's ready made to be used today. So next up, we'll be doing the passion fruit inserts. So first, we're going to put a saucepan on the heat. We're going to add our passion fruit, pulp and the puree. It's just going to add some texture with the little black seeds. Next, we add the sugar the egg yolk, which we're going to whisk. You guys call yourself novice chefs. I can hardly believe that. I think for baking, the more you practice, the better you get at it. <laughs> so we bake every day, believe it or not, and we eat cakes every day. I do not believe yes, that you do. guys eat cakes every day. And I think day. with practice, you just perfect the skill. Can you take over while I put the puree? Of course. Why do we keep whisking? Because the liquid's hot, it may form time eggs. So okay. we need to just make sure. I'll take that. So we're basically putting this back onto the heat and we're going to prepare our custard. What inspires these magnificent creations of yours? I think it's flavor. It could be something that we've tasted. That's when the art and the creativity comes into it. It's creating flavor. So this goes back into the bowl. So you can see we've got a nice, silky custard. Do you want to add the butter in? <laughs> now I want to eat the butter. So we mix this in until the butter melts. That's looking great. So now we're going to pour this into the jug and set it into our spheres. So basically when you do the insets, they need to be frozen before you proceed to the next step. So this will set in a freezer usually overnight. You can just smell those decadent flavors. We're going to have flavors of raspberry. We're going to have passion fruits and pistachio from the sponge. I'm going to pop these into the blast freezer. Pfizer's got the ingredients ready for the sponge. So we're going to make the pistachio jucant sponge. Zach, can you just pass me the bowl? Sure. 
So we're gonna start off with the pistachio paste. Then I'm gonna take my sugar. Then the ground almonds next. And now we're gonna put this in our mixture with the paddle attachment. So we're just gonna let this run for a few minutes. Can you touch with the egg now, please? Of course. Perfect. So I'm gonna add the egg in gradually while the machine is running. So that's the last of our egg. So this will run for 10 minutes. While this is running, let's prepare our egg whites and sugar for the meringue. Zach, you just want to pass me the egg whites you can just pour them in? Sure. The Stylish Baker isn't just an online store. You also offer courses. We get a lot of home industry bakers, people that have a passion for baking and even sell. It's quite fun. And everybody coming to the class, they're so passionate about baking. That's why they're here. Now what? Yes. So now we're going to add our flour. We'll be ready for that. That texture looks divine. So that's mixed well. And we're ready for our next part. Let's swap our bowls. And we're also using a different attachment. We're going to use a whisk attachment. Let's swap the bowl. So we'll put the machine on now. Medium speed. We have to get the egg whites to a foamy consistency before we start adding the sugar. And also we need to make sure that we beat it for at least two to three minutes in between each addition. So we want it to be very light and airy. Right. Our meringue is ready. Can you see? And look at that velvety, beautiful And there's meringue. no granules of sugar. That's what we're looking for. Okay. We want a nice, smooth meringue. So the first part is you take some of the egg whites, a quarter of the egg white mixture, and you fold it into your pistachio batter. And you work very lightly because you want to keep the air in your egg whites. And then I'm going to take this mixture and pour it into the remaining of the egg whites that we have. And again, just folding lightly. You want to incorporate everything. So the last two ingredients are the butter and the oil. And you also just want to add it in very lightly, fold it into your batter. And then it will be ready to go into the baking tray. Which is prepared with the non-stick paper. You can also use a silicone. I'm just going to smooth the batter and then we're ready to bake. At 170 for 15 to 20 minutes. Ah. Now for the fun part. So you're going to eat it. So we're going to assemble it. <laughs> Fine, where do we start? Right, so these are the passion fruit cremos that we made earlier. That we're going to pop them out. Nice. And you see it sets really nicely. Yeah, these molds are fantastic. This is the raspberry mousse that we prepared earlier. We've got pureed raspberry, sugar, lemon juice, fish gelatin, and whipping cream. Zach, do you mind slipping the bag? Not me? at all. Oh, oopsie, yeah. So what we're going to do is fill and pour, insert the sphere. <laughs> what you're going to do is you're going to press it down. Uh. Yeah. And then you just tap it up with some more mousse. And we're gonna leave a gap at the top for our pistachio. And the next one. So okay. you just top it up with more mousse, leave a gap for your sponge, and you just repeat. Ooh. And you wanna put quite a lot of mousse in it. You want a okay. generous entremet. So obviously when you slice into it, you get that layer of mousse. Insert mousse and your sponge. So we're just gonna give this a tap. Now we're ready for our sponge. We have our pistachio sponge, which baked for 10 minutes. Then I blast froze it, cut them, the size needs to fit the base of your entremet, as you can see. The pistachio sponge is frozen, and then you just place it onto the base of your entremet. So this needs to be frozen overnight, but luckily we have one that's prepared already. Those are beautiful. The sponge wow. at the bottom. The best part I love <laughs> decorating. Very important is that the glaze has to be used at 30 to 35 degrees. You want to make sure that you cover the surface of the entremet. Pretty and thin. So we're just going to tap it. And then you want to carry it over so that the extra drip falls into the paper. So now we're going to place our entremets onto the board. And you always want to make sure to work very carefully. And then we can remove our toothpicks. Let's put this down. This is very delicate work. I'm going to try one again. Yes, yes. <laughs> try one. Let me see these are already magnificent. Some rose gold. 
These really are stylish masterpieces. Let's eat. We hate to bake in Dash, but we're catching a flight to Paris. Really? We have to find new inspiration, new ingredients, and new tools. Oh well, I guess I'll just have to eat these all by myself. <laughs>